want more oxygen in the water, what do you think the health is? Cherry Creek. Yep. Yeah. What is that, the pH? Yeah. This one, it has more. Yep. Well, what about this one? You have to look at both samples, not just the first one. But this one has 8.3. This one has 6.3. Yep. You know what? This, I think this they're one. both within range. This is on the lower end of what we want, and this is on the upper end, but they're both okay yeah. for life. The, the water chemistry can tell us a lot about the health of the stream. But the other way we can look at the health of the stream is looking at the biology. What fish are present? What bugs? How many and how diverse they are? These are the primary things. How many bugs are we finding and how many different types of bugs? Because some bugs are very pollution uh, sensitive. That means if we went out there and we expected to find them and they weren't there, that would be bad. Want to know why are the bugs not present? Is it because of something toxic? Is it a habitat? Somehow that the bugs are no longer there. And then there are other bugs that are very tolerant to high levels of pollution. And if we find a lot of those bugs, if we find a lot of leeches, that's probably not a good thing. And so these, I believe, are little water mites. Um, I'm having trouble counting their legs, but actually that may only be it's not the very good with the which in my collection. It's like six. Yeah, it looks like six, so that's not a water mite. Uh, so because a water mite is a related to a uh, spider. Ew. It should have to be. So does anybody here, do you guys, you guys have heard the term biology. Does anybody know what biology means? There you go. The study of life is what biology is, okay? So if we have biology, what we're going to talk about here today is microbiology. So microbiology is the study of really tiny life, okay? Stuff you can't even see. Bacteria is probably the biggest group that most everyone's heard of. Who did you need the name of a bacteria? Yeah. It's the results from a bacterial infection. So, coli. Coli. There you go. You have another one? Strep, if anyone's heard of strep, or if you've ever gotten strep, streptococcus is another one. Strep bacteria. Um, and then the next one, this is the one that we actually test for the most in water because it actually turns out it's one of the easier ones to test for is bacteria. E. coli basically comes from food. It comes from stuff pooping in the water. What do you think is the source for the E. coli that's in that water? So it's actually from warm blooded animals. Maybe a dog. Dog, there you go. Okay. Bird, like bird. Perfect. You guys win. So most of the E. coli contamination that they've tested for, they found has come from birds. So that's what's getting into this water and causing it to be impaired. Okay? The other reason why you're concerned about waters like this is potentially it can be turned into drinking water. We want to make sure that we take care of it so that it doesn't have too much stuff flowing into it so when we drink it, we don't get sick. That waste can be a major source of bacteria and access nutrients in the water. Okay, so what do you think you should do when your dog goes to the bathroom in the park? Do you just leave it there? No, you get a bag and pick it up. <laughs> no, you get a bag, right, and you pick it up, and you throw it away. You don't just leave it there because that's going to get into the storm water if you do, if you do leave it, and that's not good. Yard waste. Leaves could contribute nutrients to the water like nitrogen and phosphorus. Yeah, phosphorus, which cause an unwanted growth of algae. Algae uses up oxygen in the water, which makes it hard for fish to breathe. Did you guys all hear that? So, um, when leaves get into the water, it causes algae. Does everybody know what algae is? Yeah, yeah the green stuff. The green, yeah, the green stuff. And that uses up the oxygen in the water so the fish can't breathe. So what do you think you can do with leaves in your yard so that they don't get into the storm water? Break them up. So maybe, yes. Put them in the compost pile. Exactly, yeah. Put them in the compost pile and then you can use that for your garden and yeah. Dumping automo automotive fluids or oil into storm drains have the same result as dumping it directly into a water body such as stream, river, or lake. The plastic ring found around soda cans could be washed into water bodies and strangle or disable aquatic.
aquatic, aquatic. aquatic life like ducks, fish, and turtles. So have you guys ever seen that, like a duck oh, or a bird yeah. with, oh. with the rings around their neck? What is that, happy feet? Have you, I was told, oh, happy feet, happy feet. Oh, and to prevent it, you should just cut up the rings, so. Exactly. Yeah. I would have to say, the, looking at all the bugs and getting to pick them up, I think that was super cool. Uh, I, like, I like the pH. Yeah? I like testing the pH and the turkey. And then when we got to shake the tablets on the outside, the test tubes.